Welcome to another DigitalLifestyle.com video show and in this video I'm going to have a look at the HP TouchSmart Touch UI which is an additional UI on top of Windows just designed for touch so we're going to look at some of the, the uh, music and pictures and, and web browser and other features of the Touch UI. So this is the regular desktop I'm just going to um, start the Touch UI by pressing the button that's down here Okay, so this is just loaded up, so let's have a look around the UI. And the first thing is you've got a section of big tiles up here, which are the main applications, and then you've got some applications at the bottom, which are shortcuts, which you can drag up, which we'll have a look at in a moment. So up here we've got photos, got calendar, notes, music. You can see I can flip those over. So let's say I want to go into photos, you just press on there. And then you've got photos sorted in different ways. You can make folders. Uh, I've got this in dates at the moment, so I can have a look at the different dates. So let's have a look at, uh, I don't know, let's go to earlier on in the year. So 2008, and I can look at it. January, and these should be some pictures from CES uh, with some other mi miscellaneous pictures in there. So, look at this one, do a crop. I can change that and crop. Right. So, I can do the usual things of rotate so it spins. And if it was any red eye, I could do that. So, let's have a look what other pictures. Got any on with red eye on here? I don't think there is. These are from CS. And I could do a slideshow. I can upload those. I can flick through different dates. What I really like about it is very responsive as I, as I scroll around. And uh, if I just went to hit the slideshow button, and there it goes, it's off to the slideshow, and I can. Fast forward through it. There's all sorts of rubbish in this folder. And some pictures from CES. Okay, so there we've got one with some red eye on. So that's photos, viewing photos, nice and easy. I can go back. Always is the home button at the top, or is the, the icon to take you back to, to the desktop. Note with the pictures as well, it's continu continually updating those photos. So it's quite nice to leave it on the backdrop and just to leave this on, and you'll notice it, it keeps changing the pictures, which, it, which are quite nice as well. And we've got videos. Nice, so I can go to the video section. Let's tap on that. Again, I could choose, uh, so let's go for July. And interesting here now, you'll see some videos from a BBC iPlayer that I've downloaded, so uh, I, I can watch on there. There's some that I took at Silverstone, and you'll see it those. Um, so let's try a video, see what that's like. So this is the end of the Grand Prix, I think, or the end of the Grand Prix. Looks handsome when you're in the British Grand Prix. I think I could have played that before screen as well. And I can... A nice way of watching video. And see on here, I'm looking at uh, July. If I change this to the last seven days, you'll here see some recorded TV content. So I could have a look here at a show that I recorded on Media Center. Yeah, we, uh, we sang some songs. So this is recorded TV, recorded from Media Center. Over here with the rest of the 
It's a really nice way of playing recorded TV. So one of the things you've got, you've got upload to YouTube button on there, you can delete it and rename it. And you've got this thing, last 30 days, January, so if I can go to January, and again you'll see the CES videos. I should also mention you've got this fan view as well, so I can look at the thumbnails of the videos. And let me go back to photos, because I want to show you this. I mentioned the photos. If I go back to say, look at some of these. We do the fan view, and that's looking at the folders. You notice how it just do it fills in the details as you're going along. It's a really nice way of picking up folders. And find the folder you want, and then very nice, easy way of looking at folders. So I got video, music. Let's have a look at music. Say so I wanted to play an album. Um, can you just stick, start playing that. Playing now. That's going to play through sequentially. And if I shuffled it, it'll play on shuffle. I want to create a playlist. I can just drag the songs in. And I've got my own playlist. Easy to create. Transport controls up here. Pause that. This is a nice way of viewing the music. It's really just like you know playing going when you go through the CD shop and you're looking at different CDs. This is very nice. Flick through what you want to listen to. Hit the album. Hit play, and that starts that playing. Or I can go back to the normal view, and I look for the album that I want here. Still got the playlist on here. So I can drag those in, create my own playlist. I can then save those. So music is really nice. I just especially like this. This view, and you notice it's very nice how it follows your finger. It can pick up the speed that you do, or if you more slowly. Very nice. So let's uh, go home. So that's the music. We've got something that I've not really used very much. You've got a calendar. So you family calendars, you can put those in. So I can uh, add an event in there, and I can put the event title in. Two ways I can enter it. I can use the keyboard if I. So I've got a keyboard here, I can use that, or I could use the Talent PC keyboard. Very simple. Create an advice, uh, create an event and save that. It goes in my calendar. So I've not started using that yet, but I think it's something we might use as a family. We've got um, notes on here. So uh, you can Leave audio notes, picture notes, I create a new note and I'll pick a pen. And yellow and colour. Create colour. We can have thicker. I can add text in. Again using the touch keyboard. So you can create notes, so you can imagine you can create your family notes and put those up on there. So those are the core functions of it. I like some of these extra functions we've got down here.